we're going to go into Warner Brothers and we're going to talk about the Batman. Gotham PD series has evolved to become Arkham Haunted House Story. Way cooler sounding. Mm -hmm. Way cooler sounding. Uh, I actually liked the idea of the of the Gotham PD series. Originally, like it's one of those things where the description of it is going to set off some people in certain circles because they're going to think it's like a, a defund the police type of uh, story and it kind of is. Okay. But it, 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 it kind of was, but uh, let's get into it. So it says, the Batman director Matt Reeves has said that the spinoff series focused on the Gotham Police Department has evolved into a series focused on Arkham Asylum, compared it to a horror movie or a haunted house story. Way cooler. Way cooler. Like, mm-hmm. one thing Disney's doing, not, not that I'm a huge fan of Disney, like, they're, they're turning, like, their Marvel shows into, like, they're going to start giving them different tones. From what I understand, the, the one about She-Hulk is going to be, like, a comedy, like, a, a straight comedy about um, her, like, career or something like that. Well, she's green and she's a lawyer. What's not funny about like, that? But uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I, I'm like, I, I like the idea that they're going to not just stick to one genre or make it like one thing that I kind of came to realize when I, I, I was ruminating on the Batman after we did our second review was I think that movie could have benefited from just getting a hard R, mm-hmm. making the violence more, uh, making it palpable, like make much more visceral violence, show it on screen. Don't, uh, don't just, uh, imply it off screen, mm-hmm. more swearing, more, like it just because the tone was so dark, like it rode the edge of like an R rated concept, Okay, but was basically, it could have very easily been, it could have very easily have been, I wouldn't have been surprised if it had been shot to be an R rated movie in certain mm-hmm. places and got cut down in post for, to meet censorship guidelines, right. To make it PG 13. So, uh, I, one reason I say this is because a two hour and 55 minute movie precludes kids almost entirely most of the time anyway because kids don't have the attention I barely have the attention span to watch a three hour movie yeah it's serious um, like kids are going to be on TikTok by hour two uh, in a movie like that so if they had just made it uh, like an R rated movie I think like it could have f- kind of found itself even mm-hmm. more so uh, and I like the idea that they take a different approach with their shows like they're, they're saying that the the show about the penguins going to be uh, similar to Scarface and I mean that's the elevator pitch like it's yeah. gonna be like Scarface like there's not gonna be a scene of him coming down like a, mm-hmm. a big set yeah, of yeah. stairs with a Tommy gun but it thing. has the tone exactly so it says the spin-off series which has now been formally uh, which has not been formally named was announced in 2020 and it was subsequently said to focus on Jeffrey Wright's Jim Gordon however it seems that the plans have changed Matt Reeves has told uh, spoke to YouTube channel The Cyber Nerds and suggested that the show will now focus on a different part of Gotham's history. The GCPD thing, uh, that story has sort of kind of evolved. We've actually now moved more into the realm of exactly what would happen in the world of Arkham as it relates to coming off of uh, our movie and some of the characters again in their origins, like a horror movie or a haunted house that is Arkham. Mm-hmm. I think it's a really good idea because I wanted the one of the original ideas for the Batman movie before Matt Reeves was attached to it was to make a movie about uh, kind of like uh, Escape from Arkham mm-hmm. where Batman has to basically like battle through all the people he's put in Arkham Asylum. I, I think they wouldn't have been able to follow through with that if they wanted to cast Robert Pattinson because that story with that many criminals in Arkham would uh, indicate an older a Batman who'd been doing it longer mm-hmm. and Robert Pattinson just doesn't look old enough to have done that. Sure. Especially with his like 90s Boy, boy band hair mm-hmm. down to here, like parted down the middle. Maybe that's because he's in the nineties. Like I'm picturing him, like uh, listening to In Sync while he's beating cr- up criminals. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Bye, bye, bye. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> that was In Sync, right? I, yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, uh, so, that was of that era. I just yes, don't know who it was. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say you're from that era. Uh, yeah, but I like wasn't into. I wasn't doing pop culture at that time. You th- know. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I was In Sync. I I have to ask because I'm a guy and I couldn't admit that I liked it even if I did back then. So mm-hmm. you know, you but gotta, you, who knows if you did? It's a mystery. Could have, could did I? Did I not? We may never know. Secretly, he has a picture. Just yeah, the, Timber, like yeah. in his closet. Every every. Uh, well, he wears his in sync t shirt all the time, but I just don't know. That's that's, that's ironic. That's my not. hipster. Yeah, yeah my hip- I don't know what's going on. It's there. hipster. We don't know. So it says again, uh, the way that Gotham is a character in the movie. I really want Arkham to exist as a character, so that they go into this environment and encounter these characters in a way that feels really fresh. And so, in our work in Gotham, the story started to evolve, and it started to feel like uh, like we really want to lean into this. It says. Uh, it's not really clear if Reeves is saying that the entire premise of the show has shifted or if this will start a show uh, about policing in Gotham, but with more of a focus on Arkham. Originally, the idea for the show, if I remember correctly, was that it was going to be about like a corrupt cop uh, who's like pulled between like maybe wanting to clean up his act uh, and then just the overall tone of Gotham, which mm-hmm. is just full of corruption. Uh, and then let's see if it's down here I've, on the second article. It says... Um, 
Oh yeah, so it says the original plan for Gotham P- P- for the Gotham PD series was to take inspiration from Sidney Lumet's uh, Prince of Prince of the City and center the show around a corrupt Gotham cop. The series was set uh, one year before the Batman, uh, as the Gotham police force must reckon with the emergence of the Batman and its own corruption. It wasn't going to be a Batman story. It was going to be about this corrupt cop, Reeves said, and it was going to be about the worst gang in Gotham. How the worst gang in Gotham are the GCPD. Now that sounds very, uh, you know, I, I tend to actually. It's interesting though because that like the gotham police force is corrupt in the comic books right yes mm-hmm. so that's uh, actually original source material and it's not an adaptation of political it, commentary no it, well that's what i'm saying like one of the reasons i i liked the batman despite the certain comments made by characters that i felt were uh too would date it too heavily mm-hmm. uh was that it, it dealt with themes like corruption and poverty which are strong uh storylines in that world gotham has always been a very dirty very crappy very corrupt place uh so talking about that stuff isn't woke and it's not any form of political ideology that has to do with today those are universal themes for that series but the way it was phrased was very of the day like but even calling it like got like the pd being the most uh like you know the the biggest gang in the city that's not that that's even kind of universal because i tend to you know the government has a monopoly on force you know that's something that i agree with so uh but i can absolutely see like people who would uh the audience that would normally be uh down for something like this being like that's very progressive and defund the police and all this stuff and i don't think that's what that would be i think that's just uh people are just very sensitive to these things now with the way entertainment has shaken out Mm -hmm. in the last shaken word shaken's word shaken not stirred uh shook uh so it says re said the idea was super cool but they did not like the idea they just wanted to center the show on a character who was more uh i get it alluding to the studio's desire to center the show on a less corrupted protagonist so jim gordon would have been that person would have you know jim gordon is the uh he's the um lighted backdrop against the corruption of the city from the police spectrum right mm. but uh, batman is the superhero that contrasts the super villains uh james Gor- jim gordon is the good cop that uh you know sh- is shadowed against all the bad ones right. in the system so uh i don't know if they'd be able to get jeffrey Wright to do that he's a pretty in-demand actor so that's yeah. a, a pretty big commitment they got colin farrell to commit i believe to the penguin so that's that says something also most of these like we forget that these are not going to be 16 or 22 episode runs like most series are there eight episodes probably at the most so that's less time commitment but when an actor's in demand there's a lot of money involved there do they want to do they want to do that so well and i wonder if filming like an eight episode series of this capacity feels more like sort of a long movie production yeah and so therefore like although it looks different from the consumer's end on on the production side of things it doesn't it's not as disruptive as you may think mm-hmm. it is have you ever seen that meme that says like do you want to watch a two uh, a two and a half hour movie and it's like no my god i don't have the time to do that it says do you want to watch a 10 hour movie broken up into into 10 one minute one hour episodes I'm in. yeah i've seen that one. i'm in <laughs> Like everyone does that. Like I do that. Like yeah. uh, at, I mean, for me mostly. Like I was talking to Miracle about it. Like when we're like discussing what we're gonna watch for the sh- uh, for the show, it's just very hard. Like if it's an eight episode show and it all comes out at once, uh, watching eight hours of something when I've got so much work to do for what will essentially be a twenty minute segment, mm-hmm. it's just not a good. No, like, it's crazy. Time, the the time commitment is just too great for what we get out of it. So mm-hmm. that's why I've enjoyed reviewing the mu- movies. It's a two to three hour commitment for mm-hmm. what ends up being a 30 minute segment. Usually yeah. uh, when we do afterwards, that's it's proportional. That's to proportional. The product, yeah. The, with the shows, it's just like, my God, do I have the, like miracle, the, like watches the stuff, like, you know, she's re- answering her emails. She's doing all that stuff. If I'm going to review something, I can't do that. Cause I'll get anxiety feeling like I didn't watch enough of it mm-hmm. or pay like there. I might miss something crucial. And then my analysis will be stupid. Cause I missed some, po- you know, some part while I was saying. doing something. So yeah. I can't do that. So it says uh, the Arkham series is one of two shows that's being spun out of the Batman, which just topped the box office, which we were apparently wrong. Mm-hmm. It was a hundred and thirty four million dollar opening. And some people said one hundred and twenty eight million dollar opening. Uh, that does make a difference yeah. uh, in the grand scheme of things. So I was surprised by that. And they're saying Colin Farrell's Penguin characters getting his own series. I, I like that. I like Colin Farrell in that role. Um, I just uh, I think it would be cool to see something from because we saw a lot of Arkham at uh, in. um uh gotham right yeah uh did they call it arkham i don't even remember if they called it it was called something else they call it because they had hugo strange Mm -hmm. in there but it's like 
Arkham is such a classic part of the Batman lore that it would be very cool to see a show based around that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we will see where that goes. Also, they did confirm that apparently, this isn't connected to the article, yeah. that that was the Joker in that end scene in Arkham, mm -hmm. but it's not like a tease. Like they're saying that he, they might not even do him as a villain. I'm like, then why include it in the movie at all? Like that feels almost like a purposeful misdirect. Mm -hmm. Like why would you include it? If you're not going to, I didn't see the film, so but, I, I don't know what like, the scene they're is. They're like, ooh, 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 we tricked you. Yeah, well, they 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 include a scene where the Riddler meets the Joker uh, in in Arkham, and it's like kind of tacked on to the end. Hmm. But it's but it feels like it's one of Marvel's post credit scenes where it like signals what's going to happen in the future. But it happens just kind of vague, like randomly towards the end of the movie. It doesn't really feel like it fits. Hmm. And now they're saying it might not actually lead to anything. What was the point of it? The movie is two hours and fifty. You could have saved like two minutes. Maybe like, they were like, we'll leave it in there, and if they're curious about it, we'll do something with that's, it. But that, if people that, were like, why is this? We'll be like, yeah, yeah we don't know. Right. I can't, who's he was, to the say? Reeves was drunk that day. We just did what he said. Well, mm -hmm. it's just an artistic choice, but it means nothing. Yes. Yeah, it, well, um, basically, because the Riddler, he's in there, and like basically he's like, you have a friend, and it's me. <laughs> what it, a strange way to talk to it was, uh, <laughs> Exactly. Well, well they're super villains. You know, they're not going to talk like normal people. I'm not going to talk like normal people. They're not normal people. Mm. So I'm excited to see where this goes. I would love, I mean, the problem with all this is it, 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 it's what happens in these shows is the bat verse or the, you know, the bat family is like the most logical thing to actually turn into a, to its own property because yeah. it's so, it's so vast, but it's going to have very little of actual Batman. It's just going, mm -hmm. it's more like, it's more about Gotham than it is about Batman mm -hmm. himself. So the bat family is, well, as you said, very interesting. They should actually profit into it because there's so many characters they can mess around with, and they leave so many of them alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, we like <clears throat> we've still yet to see Damien. Yeah, uh, we've yet to see any of like. No, Damien has been in a lot of. Animations. But I'm saying, like in the movies, animation movies. I'm talking about the live action. Oh, live action, maybe. Well, they have to first get, um, Dick Grayson, and then, um, Jason Todd. Jason Todd, and yep. then. Tim Allen, or no, no, what's his last name? <laughs> Not Tim Allen. Drake. Drake, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Tim so. Drake, and then um, Damien. Yeah, like so. Well, well, and then if they want to be creative, they can add like the female well, Robins too. I don't know if they would actually do that. Like, I There's, picturing Robert Patton. Like, I guess they'd have to play a different Batman because Robert Pattinson with kids like that age wouldn't make any sense. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Mm, I don't know because like just some uh, really good like hair and makeup, right? They can do that if they can make bit? if they can make Colin Farrell look fat and ugly, then they can make uh, Robert Pattinson look old and uh, father like. And well, no, so. like possible when he adopted um, Dick, like basically, yes. um, basically he was still young, so maybe like. When but he's he like year two Batman right now. <laughs> Well, let's well, wait. wait. I guess it would be a couple of years before mm -hmm. it comes out anyway, so yeah. it wouldn't really matter. Let's wait. We'll, we'll see. We'll mm -hmm. see. That part of uh, DC lore makes the most sense to try and turn into its own universe rather than what they're doing at the DCEU. Mm -hmm. so. Well, there's a lot of characters that they said they still haven't put in film yet, like Hush, Talons, um, Clayface. They ruined Hush on Batwoman. Eh, we don't. Nana! They ruined it. We don't acknowledge it. Yes, we, we pretend that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.